Oh, it's been a long day. Debbie, Debbie can tell you I woke up about 3 o'clock this morning and couldn't go back to sleep. So I've been at this three this morning. Um, I want to, first of all, I, there's a lot of people to thank. I want to start with my family, my wife, Debbie. Where is she? Right there. She's had to pick up the FA since January, and it's not always been easy. <laughs> but I want to thank her. Uh, my two kids, Derek and Jeremy. And their wives are over here, Amber. Amber and Tammy, and my six grandchildren who are all here. Now, now Grandpa can be more accessible to the grandkids. Uh, second of all, I want to thank. Still on. I want to thank the group that's been with me ever since the consolidation. And it's the core group, and they, they, decided, they decided in January that they were going to help me go through this next stage. And everybody that was on the core group, raise your hand up, give a round of applause. All right. I want to thank all the people that helped today in the primary. Everybody's got shirts on. Thank you very much for, for helping out uh, in the in the uh, polling places. Uh, it was just it was an excellent job, excellent job. Thank you for that. Uh, we had three people or three groups that uh, supported us. The core group. Yeah. 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 The core, the core group who supported us and endorsed us. The Vancouver County Farm Bureau who supported us and endorsed us. And the reason we're here tonight, the reason we're here tonight is the FOP also endorsed us. And I thank all of those people who endorsed us. It was, it was sometimes difficult to get the message out. And I want to make a special thank you to the City County Observer. They helped us get that message out. They helped us get that message out and get it to the people so that they understood what I stood for. And, and it was much easier to do that when you had that kind of capability. And last but not least, I want to thank the voters of Vanderburg County for showing out in force and getting off their tractors and coming and walking. And now we move forward. What's going to happen now, this, what, what this means is I'm the Republican candidate in the fall for our county commissioner. Currently, there is no Democratic candidate. But that doesn't mean there won't be one because they have until June the 30th to slate somebody if they so desire. We hope that doesn't happen. And for, and for everybody else who's here, all of my friends, all of the people who came down here to help celebrate, thank you all very much. It has been a tremendous experience, and I'm looking forward to November when we take over the county commissioner's seat and go forward in the game.